Hello! I am back with another episode of Hitra, my survival series. And as you can see right here, I've been doing some work on... Hey. The zoo isn't open. Get back here. You stay out of my zoo. You scare the foxes, you ruin everything. Uh-oh. I didn't think that through. So yeah, after wrangling them squids all last episode, I decided I should make a, a squid farm. So I filled in a lot of the river here. Going this way. And I think to make this farm more efficient, I'm, I'm going to have it um, like my spot up kind of up top. Because it's only, I don't know, 50 blocks either way kind of from the center. Although I might have to go further that way now because I've laid out the pattern of the river. And it looks like this is kind of the biggest area here. Kind of gets skinny through here. Although I could put it here. This might not be bad. This is a little bit more center between the two and clear out that side. And it kind of lines up with our street. Our street right there. So, hmm. Maybe that's the better idea. Hmm. Right or left side? You know what? That side's too close to the zoo. I'm going to go in this chunk here. Right across here. Probably... Mm, let's grab some sand. Not yet. I'm not done. Why did I only grab one thing of sand? Like, that was going to be enough. Fool! Um. Come on, now. Think better. Do better. Yeah, so I'll clear out that chunk. Probably off camera, because <laughs> it's kind of boring. Um, and then go from there. First, I'm going to, hmm, I haven't done a raid yet. Let's see, I've got my bow. Plan is if I go trigger a raid, I'm just going to start setting up iron golems. Okay. We're going to want to build with these guys first. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, do, do. All right. You watch out there. Luckily, I don't think anything can get in where my villagers are. Though I don't have a bell. Bell would probably be a smart idea. Sounds like they're over here. Which, if they're over here, I could probably build a few of these guys up here on this hill. Uh, I like how the calming music is just not appropriate at all for a raid. I heard him doing something. Aha! Now is a bad time for it to lag. That's actually probably a good vantage point inside of the, this here. Although I can't see the backside anywhere. Okay, that's where they came in through the water. I know what to do here. Wow, I just kind of realized I set up my village in a nice way to be defended against this because I've got these lookouts here. Where's uh, this? Where are you? You fool, I hear you. I won't miss. Oh. Wow, what a heck of a shot. That's what I thought. But right now, I can't seem to find anybody. 
So they all came from over there, kinda. You guys remain stoic. Well, you're doing good. I'm glad you're here, friend. But where, oh where, are the rest of these fellers? Really not seeing anything. Uh-huh. Well, I can't find these raiders anywhere. You know, I'm all assassins greeting on the top of all these buildings. Look, my hitbox is on. Well, are you stirred by something? Well, where is the rest of this raid? Hmm. Ha! About there? Boom. Probably shouldn't be wasting arrows in the first stage of the raid just in case I keep it going. But I genuinely cannot find anyone. Alright. Finally, I found. picked up a noise. And saw the pillager mumbles thing, so there's somewhere. Oh. Wow. You guys are so annoying. Why didn't they shoot? What a task that was. There's a bunch of caves around here, so I really hope they don't, like, spawn around there again. That was... That was probably a good half hour of me just running around trying to find them. Two remaining? Where's all this going down at? One remaining. Someone's doing some work that I'm not seeing. Alright, my iron golems took care of it. Who's a little bit banged up, I wonder? Aha, must have been out here, I suppose. You look a little... Worse for wear? I heard them. Aha! Stand and fight, ye cowards. Uh-oh, framey. Not good. Let's uh, head this way. Should be a small army following me, I suppose. Uh huh. Really don't need you over here right now. Yes. Let's go, my knights. Over here, fellers. We've got a village to defend. Though, so far the golems have taken care of it. Oh yeah, here we go. Go get them, pups. Those are the baddies. No, doggo, don't go after the psychopathic things. Well, we're doing pretty well. All things considered. Vindicator mutters. Where? Huh. Th that was strange. 
All right. Oh, there they is. I see them. They're plotting. Look at them. Just plotting. Plotting it up. Okay. <gasps> when do you get hurt somehow? You're the hurtiest. Here, come here. You need to get some tails up. Okay, you're good. You look pretty good. You look pretty good. You look good. All right, all the tails up. Let's ride. Apparently this is a good village to defend. It's just kind of hard to defend. <laughs> yep. Oh. Of course you. Go away, demon child. Ugh. Of course it's the Invoker and Johnny... And so I thought, where's, where did Vexy? So I got the river on the, the only side that's hard to defend is the side they haven't come from, from really, which is that forest straight over there. Ha! Huh. Oh, howdy. Stay away, doggos. You focus on these guys. No, sorry. Oh, gosh. This leg is terrible. I shot my own dog. Ay 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 ay. Not close enough to Oh, he was. Dang it. I can't tell with a lag. Aha, you're down here. Ay ay ay. Water wars. Okay, I need a... No! You angry at me? All right, come on, doggos. We got to get you sorted out here. Heard the other one around here. He spawned up in this madness. Ah. Ha! Let's get out of here. All right! <laughs> that was the easiest, most confusing raid I've ever seen. Everything's a dollar. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit the game. So I have this... How long does this last? 40 minutes. 
I'm going to quit here. Hello everyone, I'm back. I got this cleared out. Um, I'm not sure how far down you have to go for a squid farm, but that's what that is going to be eventually. But this isn't going to be just a squid farm. This is going to be for all the dyes. So I've got these kind of sectioned off here. Got my cactus, cocoa bee. I thought I brought sea pickles over. Uh-huh. Well, apparently not. Well, one thing I did want to do, let's see, I got my fortune pickaxe. I did grab a thing of deep slate ore from that big dig I did in the last episode. So I want to see how much we get out of all these diamonds here from that. So I'll just lay them out quick and mine them all and get a chance to repair this shovel. Two stacks and 18 diamonds, not bad. Let's convert one of these to blocks and drop them off on the way um yeah oops so basically all of these are gonna have a farm except for white I've got so many bones from my skeleton I got a skeleton slash uh, what's it called spider spawner over there that I go for XP usually and I, I have so many bones I should never need anything for bone meal and what I'll probably do is just have any excess from cactus and cocoa beans and anything else once chests are filled go into a, a composter so I'll have bone meal there too but yeah this is gonna be a big thing for all dyes really so yeah this is my little back there is a skeleton spawner and behind here is a spider they're coming in regularly. Let's see, bones are what I'm after. Um, but I do have, yeah, so many bones from this thing. I need to start using this up because I'm starting to max out on space for what I can actually do. <laughs> I've got that. Let's see. Okay, that's all arrows. Do I have arrows? I don't have any arrows. Well, let's convert all this stuff, I suppose. All right, and that should be more than enough to get us started, I suppose. And while I've been doing that, all this has been going on. So we'll just keep adding to our supply. All right, and let's drop these off at the ATM. That looks pretty good. Um, really, I'm gonna have to go down and get all that, all the ores I just have sitting in a cave right now. <laughs> at some point, I don't really have a a look in mind for this. Although, I was recently rewatching uh, Ren's Hermitcraft season seven videos and I do like his squid farm like kind of worn but industrial looking thing he built in the middle of the uh, mesa biome although I would I probably need more bone blocks for that now that I think of it so I'm trying to think how big this thing is gonna be because the cactus farm if I do 15 cactuses let's just lay this out quick I'm trying to visualize. I'm gonna all these uh all the flowers for these, the double tall flowers, they're gonna be like at the the top of it, kind of. But let's see if I go to oops. Just trying to visualize this. One, two, three, four, five, five. That, 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 that. that. So that's how big 
this guy would be. So if I just have to move it probably back here a little bit. I can also probably take down some of this wool. Since I have this as like my uh, location for the squid farm. Hey guys, it's a thunderstorm and I'm hoping to get a skeleton horse, but I did just plant behind me there that copper, the lightning rod. Now I want to see, uh, where is it? Oh, trying to do this all backwards. I want to see how hard a lightning strike is. Does armor matter, I wonder? And I suppose now that I'm doing this, it's going to clear up. Oh, hey. I didn't take any damage. Interesting. Well, I was hoping to get a uh, skeleton horse, but that's kind of cool. I just took three hits there. Looked like it damaged me, but not much. Um... I've got a bunch set up over here too. I want to I want to get a skeleton horse somewhere. Is there anything around? Well, in other news, I have finished well I haven't finished it. <laughs> I've got this all built up. This is going to be the squid farm underneath. Those are all slabs down there. That's where they'll fall. And suffocate they'll get a little bit of fall damage not much I think it's at like level 39 or something and squid stop spawning at 43 so but yeah down there if I throw there's mine carts under there now that should be if I go down here come on and it gets real nice and noisy should be right here so that part's set up, now I gotta do the annoying bit of placing water and stone every other block and, and then open fence gates so the squids can gradually fall through. Yeah, I'm also gonna put a glass top on that, which is what I got going on here. Oh yeah, add some more. Uh, and I'm out of ink. Or, yeah, this, the dyed ink. But, See if we can get, get the glass dyed for the top, which I have to go get more squid. But yeah, progress update. Um, it's time to start doing the really hard part. Oh. Well, guys, it's done. The squid farm is complete. Now I just need some squid to spawn in it, which I think takes a couple minutes but yeah I want to put a black glass roof over it the whole thing and that'll kind of be maybe the entryway over here ish but yeah it's been about five six hours straight since the last clip so it's quite the grind um let's see I don't know if I'm too close. I'm going to go in spectator and see if I can kind of show the farm. It's a standard design, an older one. Let's go back into spectator and see if that'll clear things up a bit. Yeah. <sighs> I missed a block. Yeah, I did this. I put a block and then ice for everything. So I missed a block on this side. I'm going to have to find that. Put in survival, drink the milk. Oh, I can't have that bucket either. That was from creative. Take care of this. Let's see, one, two, three. I think it was this row. Right here. And now I'm on the killing floor. And if I remember right, Aha! Uh -huh. He was somewhere over here. It was where my stuff was. Okay, so that is that all done and done. Perfect. 
and then right next to it there that way I should be able to yep if I need to I can swim up into it okay um let's go with that for now now I need some squid to spawn so I can put a roof on this thing now why is it ticking I, I wonders um let's just give it a test if I throw What did I have? 61 there? Let's go up and see what we get out top. There they are. Perfect. So that is all set up as well. No, I just really need the squid to spawn. And now... Anything. Anything at all. Come on, squid. Come on, squid. I really hope this farm still works. <laughs> I didn't check that before I built this whole thing. Oh, for goodness sakes. I'm trying to do other things right now. I can't be bothered, Phantom. Ow. You will not stop me from sleeping. Got him. Kind of the same thing Ren did with his Star Wars uh, theme base. Or look-wise, anyway, with the... Uh, what would these be called? Little things coming off the side. Right? And then, to tie it all together... I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll put some quartz slabs there. Um, I think bone block is going to be the piece that ties this all together. So maybe these will be bone blocks and I'll have granite kind of around that area. Yeah, I just really like this palette he had on his season seven base. So I'm going to have to figure out how to fill in everything after. Ah, yeah, I've been here a while, and uh, not one squid, so I've actually got this set up. I'm kind of going to convert this into a, a different design. i got to take in this edge one block, so actually these can go, now I think about it. Um, but yeah, it's going to require me to completely take out everything in the middle there and uh, redo it. So that was a lot of time uh, wasted, basically. Um, the good thing about this new design, I think it's El Mango's design, is it should uh, be relatively, what's the word I want to use? Quicker or easy to convert, I should say. Now that I have everything in place anyway. So this whole side can go. Well, everyone, I'm starting to put together this uh, cactus farm when I noticed this. Finally, it's working. The only problem with this farm is it also creates salmon, which I guess I'll, I'm fine with. I'll probably just set up an auto, like, destroyer sort of thing for the collection system when I make this but yes finally we have some ink coming out of this thing um, which is good but yeah I'm gonna continue on with this uh, cactus farm um, trying to get it all enclosed in right now
Still kind of freewheeling the design to connect all these. What I'll probably do is just include bone blocks in every part of this build and then find a way to tie it all together at the end, I suppose. I want to see how this water flows. I've got to get this right. You know what? I might actually... Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch this around and have it come out the back side of this. And then I'll do a bubble vader for the items, all the cactuses, that goes up and over the top and into a big sorting system over there. So why don't I do that quick? There we go. And this will be the the hopper. And then here will be a dispenser. And here will be our bubble vader, so I'm gonna have to open that up too. Well, the good news is it's still just mainly salmon. Gosh. Good news is I have seen ink come out of this farm, so that is something. Aha! You've finally shown yourself, sir. Do I have any arrows? 31, okay. Let's get close to this guy. There we go. Yes, fight each other. Uh, I... Stop it. Hey, that went well. What do you have for bow? Okay. Do these despawn? I also saw a creeper somewhere near. I think. Right. I don't have any leads. I have nothing. Really hope these don't despawn. Uh huh. Wow. Can get pretty intense in a thunderstorm. Okay. So I'm just going to go with I hope these don't despawn. Let's go get our skeleton horses. I'm going to lasso them as I drive on by. Aha! Come, friend. I should probably actually make sure I don't know how fast these guys are. We'll keep up a, a reasonable trot. How about that? This way. Oh, we lost two. Come on. Might it actually be easier to walk them. Yep. Let's get off of here. You're just too fast. Horse with no name. That You should be my nether horse. Maybe you can be the next Grim Hoof and we can use him for leather or whatever horses drop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on now. I'm not going too fast, am I? Still got four? Yep. Okay, I'm going to need fences when I get there. Did you get hung up on a tree? Come on now. This is nice and even and flat. No dangers. Let's put you all... Right here. And actually, you can get your own separate thing. Uh, let's go right next to the water. That'll be better for you. 
I put you guys near water, but you probably just wander in and I guess you don't they don't drown, do they? Huh. Wonderful. Some more additions to the zoo. Skeleton horses. That'll be a fun uh enclosure to make. Uh, so Okay, back to what I was actually doing. And like this. And that should be all there is to it for that. Well, everyone, it is, well, not done, but it's getting there. So I've got the cactus farm, squid farm. There's still, it is actually producing squids here and there. It's just not very effective, I'm sure has something to do with the spacing because I just brought down what I was doing into this. I actually get way more salmon out of this. So I put this little cooker here for salmon. The nice thing about that is I do get bone meal out of it occasionally. So I'm just going to roll with that. But yeah, there's the cactus farm. I'm setting up this area. I'm going to have a, a cleric, probably two in here that are going to be set up so I can trade for Lapis to get the blue dye. And then up here. But yeah, up here, I have all the flowers uh, underneath. They'll go into each of these uh, barrels. And then there's dispensers. Let's see. Yeah, there's dispensers above, so if there's bone meal in those, when I hit this lever, you can hear they're all firing. I just don't have enough bone meal right now. So that's the plan with these guys, and this is also going to be kind of an AFK spot. I'll come up here, flick the lever. This is just for orange dye, combining the, the red and the yellow, once I have enough. But, you know, when I come up here... That'll sort of be a mini AFK spot. I'll let that run for a bit. And then when I'm up here is usually when I get better spawn rates for the squid farm. But yeah, all in all, it's starting to come together, sort of. I also built a little uh, mini lava collector for cooking up fish and cactus and what have you. Speaking of which, I should probably go cook up some more cactus. Oh, one thing down here. I had to replace inside there this guy. That is now a dropper rather than a dispenser because the dispenser when it got bone meal from the salmon, it, you know, it tries to dispense it like a how you say uh like onto something so it, it'll take it back if nothing's there so it would just be constantly have bone or the bone meal would stay there so I actually had to put a dropper there is the only change there but yeah that is about it hello I have finished my whole dye factory thing here um, I just gotta get this I want to get in the boat there we go. This is the last bit I gotta get in. Cause they this guy is a cleric and he sells blue dye. But yeah, I've got all the major colors and then a spot to combine them for the other ones. I'll run run through everything here once we're inside. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Oh. Okay, let's get him in here. That's my other cleric. Yeah, these guys sell lapis, which I'm just going to use, be using that to turn into blue dye. Uh, I want you to go to bed before I put him in there. Well, I will wait. So I've got. Let's run through everything here quick. Uh, a little bit of lava here, mainly to cook up cactus and 
What else? Cook something else up. There's a little back entry underneath. Not much, but... And uh, squid farm, obviously here. Get a lot of fish. Hey, starting to get some ink. Get a lot of fish from this thing, which is why I'm currently eating a lot of salmon. So it's a salmon and a... Good thing about the salmon is they occasionally drop bone meal too, but... Yeah, black ink and... But yeah, then I got the grays here to go with whatever bone meal I need. Basically, I'm just composting like extra cactuses or whatever if I'm not using them to fill up these green dyes on the side. So yeah, this is a cactus farm back behind this. And then let's see, through here. So let's see, we've got green here, black. White's just bone meal that I get from composting stuff. Ooh, now yeah, it's kind of came together. It's a big uh, mishmash of different <laughs> style or not real styles, but uh, yeah, just different types of things going on here. So if I go up this way, this is my cocoa bean farm. I just hit this lever here. They all fall down, they go in, they go underneath, get cycled up through water elevator and come down into here. Should see them slowly, yep. And then I just uh, put them back, put the wall back. I can come in here, open these up and replant everything. So yeah, that's all my brown dye I'll ever need. Right there. Um, and then if I go a little, little spot that comes out in open air, go up here. This is the, uh, this is like the XB crafted. Do I have bone meal? Okay, I've got some bone meal in here. The pickle farm. So if I do this, see pickles come in, cook them in these furnaces. We get lime dye. Okay, good. He's sleeping now. Let's sneak in so you can get used to your new area um, perfect and now I've got blue down yeah these three here are for the uh, ones you got to combine colors with which actually since I've got red on me why don't I do that I've got seven so let's do doot and doot. Add some more purple. But yeah, this is light blue, purple, and cyan. These three here. So I just got to combine them. Then up here in this tower, which is kind of like my mini AFK spot, because when I come up here, that's when I get the most squid spawning down there. But yeah, I've got all the two tall flowers with dispensers with bone meal. In order to put bone meal in, I actually have to climb out on the roof here. I made this kind of really tight quarters, but if I do that for a little bit, see they all go there, and then if I go down this little bit here, they all come down into these, which I can uh, change into the dies, and then they just go in these little spots down. Oops, down here. So yeah, now I've got basically every die co covered. The only one that I don't is essentially uh, uh, white die, but I've got my skeleton grinder deep in the mines, and I'm not too worried about it, really. I didn't realize I get two dies for every one of these. That's pretty neat. And I can go up and down from either level, so just have this. Um, yeah, this was quite the grind besides having to redo the ink farm entirely. I'm going to go into Spectator so we can kind of get a look at it. But yeah, this is sort of like the, the dye factory, the very edge of the city area. And yeah, it took me 
all of last week was just getting the squid farm right, draining this. As you, that's what all the previous clips were, and then now that it's kind of working, whatever. Then, yeah, I've just slowly been adding the compartments for the other dies that I want. Um, let's go back to survival. And now I can finally start cleaning up this mess a bit. And then we can bring, see, that road comes out there, so I wonder if we want to take it like that and drive around this way with it. I'm not sure what, how we want to do this. Yeah, I added this little trench. I was thinking I might make a kelp farm in this lake in like a sunken, like a modern, like a, I don't know if I want to do a pirate ship or like a modern style boat to fit more. I don't know what the theme of the city is. It's kind of modern, kind of random, I guess. It's kind of my build style. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I have been working on the past two weekends. Yeah, and working out of town, I got no time to do it during the week. So this episode's taken a bit longer to come out. Um, look at that. Just constantly, if I'm around this farm, I'm basically always getting salmon in there. And then, like, once I get outside of it a ways, that's when I start getting uh, the the inks or the squid start spawning more. But yeah, I also put these kind of scattered around so I have access. To, oh, I have lupees in here. Um, I've got one inside the fuel and the raw materials sort of building there one in the bank one over in the village I think so yeah oh, I just do this is this fortune no let's do that quick that is all right, entrance here to the main squid area and it's nothing special and that's just concrete powder underneath these with the uh, iron trap doors on top and bottom. And yeah, that's uh, the whole thing. Came together kind of okay. Like I said, I, this was kind of freestyle building and designing on the fly. This middle part is absolutely nothing. <laughs> I guess maybe it's supposed to look like a water tower. I got a light in there, uh, a frog light right in the middle, and I tried to do the glass effect and just have some sort of... Uh, a secondary taller feature because without that this one tower looked really weird but I wanted that tower to go up there and AFK at when uh, when I'm trying to run the squid farm so but yeah that is all done actually you know what I should do I still haven't built the observatory or finished off the village so I think I might go make the observatory for the uh, cartographer villagers. That way at least are the, all the buildings are done and I can, I mean I can delay the villagers forever but at least the if the buildings are done eventually I might move one here and there and by <laughs> the end of whenever the series ends I might have them all there. Right, so let's put that there. Um, I remember where things go now. We've used a lot of dirt. This was, I think, almost too chestful, and now it's just trickling back down. Just terraforming around. Weird how much stuff you go through that you can't see. <laughs> I think I'm going to tear this down and remake my wood area. I'll keep this front feature thing, and it'll be like a long, skinny bit for farming trees and what whatnot. Since we're getting, also getting cherry wood, and I need a spot for bamboo anyway. I think we need to go with a new design here. I still need to put a top on right there. Oh, so many things. And then, of course, we still have the zoo going on in the background. So, hmm. You know what? I've been kind of neglecting the zoo for a while. Maybe what I will do... Oh yeah, this building needs to be finished. Just sitting here. <laughs> and the bakery still needs, oh, so many, so many things to finish. What can I do for the zoo? I have one rabbit in here. Oh, I can actually clear clear this out now. Now that the uh, coyote, not coyotes, what are they? Foxes are no longer here. 
You're safe to hop around, buddy. But anyways, I will see you guys in whatever I'm going to end up doing next for the next clip. Hello. I am back over here. As you can see, I've sort of repaired my previous oopsie. Uh, when I was watching back, or editing the fo footage rather, I think I figured out what went wrong. When I placed the water in here, before it spilled out, out and around, and it knocked out these two corner pieces. So these side ones didn't fire. So I'm gonna try this one more time. It's again, declaring more on that island. Although this may be too far away for it to even get there, but I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit. So yeah, I built up everything first. Now I've got to load all my TNT. Just wasting I've got plenty of gunpowder, but and sand, I guess, from draining out the river. So I was kind of it's like, oh, I'll make some TNT, and then yeah, when I noticed, where's did I miss one? Aha! So now these guys. Well, let's see. Now if I do this. Want it to be like that, and we want to go boom, and then boom. It's beautiful! That's how it's done. And none of them. Well, I killed some fish. Turn that off. Okay. Well, it didn't quite reach the island, but you see how it's supposed to work. <laughs> All right. Well, at least I found the flaw, and this still works, so that's pretty cool. Um, buckets. Let's clean this. And pour that back out in here. That would have been much cooler if it had made it all the way there, but clean up this mess. And yeah, I've just been... I was getting really bored because all I've been doing since the last clip is uh, cleaning out stuff from my big grind area. Which, yeah, this is still draining. Problem is that's so f it's far enough away where this isn't loaded when I go over there, so... When I come back, as you can see, it's still just doing its thing, slowly draining. But I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here. And as I always do, anyways, well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I've been Evernoob. Think, oh, that's from the tree. Thanks for watching. Uh, like a Hang on. Wonderful. Um, like if you like. Subscribe if you want to. And um, yeah, I think... You know what I haven't done yet? And this might be the perfect spot for it. I don't have a house for myself. I think I've mentioned before that I kind of am a nomad. I just sleep out in the middle of wherever when I play. Ooh, a name tag. Um, but yeah, that might be what I work on next episode. I'm not sure. I'm all over the place. But anyways, thanks for watching. I've been Evernoob, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.